Welcome to Science 10 tutorial videos. These videos are designed to give you a quick overview of certain challenging concepts. They are not meant to be comprehensive and do not replace reading the course page or doing the practice questions in your workbook. If you find an area of Science 10 challenging and think a video tutorial could help bring clarity to the concepts, please let us know. We're here to help you learn. The Biosphere The Biosphere is a layer where life exists on our planet. It includes only the very lowest portion of the atmosphere and the very upper portion of the Earth. It also includes the oceans, but in Science 10 we focus only on the terrestrial land-based biomes. All the life we know exists uh, in this layer here, known as the biosphere. Here you can see different biomes, and we're going to talk about this shortly. This would be a forest biome and maybe there's a desert over here. Uh, we won't look at the water-based biomes, but they are equally as interesting. If we look at the biosphere, it is divided into areas that share similar biotic and abiotic components. We call these areas biomes, and in Science 10, we consider the Earth to have eight terrestrial biomes. The boreal forests, deserts, grassland, permanent ice, temperate deciduous forest, temperate rainforest, tropical rainforest, and tundra. You likely already know lots about these biomes. If you live near the BC coast, you live in a temperate rainforest biome, characterized by mild temperatures and lots of rain. If you visit Death Valley in California, you would be in a desert biome, characterized by little rain and very hot temperatures. In fact, the hottest temperatures ever recorded were taken in Death Valley. Uh, these rocks, this is known as race rocks in Death Valley. And you can see the path this rock has taken. No one knows why they move, uh, how they move, uh, but you can see their movement uh, based on the tracks they leave. Please review the eight biomes and remember three to four characteristics, such as the type of plants and animals found, the amount of precipitation, the average temperatures. Don't have to uh, specifically remember numbers, just hot, temperate, or cold and perhaps one other interesting fact about the biome. Abiotic factors are important in determining the biome that will form in a given area. The two abiotic factors that we're going to focus on are the amount of precipitation and the average temperature. Say you were told a particular area has an average annual rainfall of 100 degrees Celsius and an average annual temperature of 5 degrees Celsius. When you locate this point on a graph, this forms a temperate deciduous forest. Say you were told a given area has an average annual temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and gets just 10 centimeters of rain per year. We could use the graph to show that this would likely be a desert biome. Climatographs. These graphs can be confusing at first glance because there are two sets of data being represented, precipitation and temperature. There are also separate vertical axes with their own units, millimeters of rain and degrees Celsius. It is easy to forget which data set goes with which axis. Luckily, you have had many years of experience that can help you. You know that in Canada, the summer months of June, July, and August are the hottest months. If you look at the bottom axis and locate these months, you can use your inductive reasoning skills to tell what data set the average monthly temperature is. If the red data points represent the temperature, then the blue bars represent the amount of rain. Here's a question. How much average precipitation does Tofino receive in September? You would go to Tofino's climatograph, look, find September, and then read from the data bar. Try and make your lines as straight as possible and find that Tofino receives an average of 145 millimeters of rain in September. What are a Soyuz's average temperatures for July and August? We look at a Soyuz, go to a Soyuz's climatographs. We're looking at temperatures, so we're going to use the temperature axis on this side. Temperatures for July and August, find those months, go up to the data points, and find that that would be 20, 
somewhere in between 20 and 25. Uh, July is slightly higher at about 23 and August would probably be about the 21 mark. If answering these questions on assignment, please make sure to answer them in full sentences so that from your answer we could tell what the question was. A sentence such as, a Soyuz's average temperature for July is 23 degrees Celsius and for August is 21 degrees Celsius would be fine.